And so globalization, there's a great deal of movement with the Brexit, with the US elections, as some of you, uh, I'm sure, uh, have followed intensely. There is a counter-globalization movement. There is a counter-liberalism movement. I th um, and that's because of um, two things, because of the way we are wired. It turns out that actually from a, a primordial um, uh, neurobehavioral standpoint, we are wired to be afraid. Uh, uh, we have a s small organ right here called the amygdala, which is the size of an almond, which is the sort of the, the command and control of all of our fears. Um, and it doesn't take much to trigger that. And populist leaders have done it throughout human history uh, where they push the right kind of buttons and we all retreat into this, what we call in, in neuropsychological terms, a very defensive postures because we're afraid. We, we, uh, we, we don't know uh, what's at stake. So what is constant is human nature. Now, to me, human nature uh, is, I've called man, an emotional, amoral egoist. So, uh, and I think we are far more emotional than we think we are. And it turns out actually from a, an experimental standpoint that our most rational decisions are actually intertwined with emotionality, knowingly or unknowingly. So I think that's important to know. At best, we are amoral creatures. Uh, which means our moral compass is governed uh, primarily by our perceived emotional self-interest. And so perceived is quite critical because you can perceive incorrectly and you can sabotage uh, your very, uh, your own self-interest. Uh, 